Hi folks! Today is a big day, because in the evening we are about to watch the Europa League final between AS Roma and Sevilla. Make predictions for this blockbuster clash in the comments below, hit the like button and give us a subscribe. While we proceed to the latest news. Tottenham would demand around 100 million euros for Harry Kane from a club outside of the Premier League and 150 million euros from a club inside the Premier League, Cadena Ser informs. Former Netherlands winger Quincy Pramas is prosecuted for importing more than 1,300 kilos of cocaine, with a value of 75 million euros. Juventus are leading the race to sign Chelsea winger Christian Pulisic, ESPN writes. Bayern Munich are ready to pay 100 million euros to West Ham United for Declan Rice. Jude Bellingham will be presented as a Real Madrid player at the Santiago Bernabeu in the next two weeks, DRU Oz reports. Ajax CEO Edwin van der Sar has decided to leave after more than a decade with the club. Manchester United boss Eric Ten Hag is confident that he can persuade Chelsea midfielder Mason Mount to join the club this summer, the Telegraph understands. Galatasaray have sealed the 2022-23 Turkish Super League title for a 23rd time. Napoli have now come forward for Porto boss Sergio Conceição. They have offered a wage of 6 million euros for the Portuguese, Il Matino report. Bayern Munich fullback Benjamin Pavard will not sign a new deal and wants to leave the club, with his current contract expiring in 2024. Lens midfielder Sako Fofana is held in high esteem by PSG's influential players. Insider Fabrice Hawkins notes. Mauricio Pochettino does not want Joao Felix at Chelsea next season, according to Atletico Madrid president Enrique Cerezo. We are trying to sign Messi. It's not a lie, but he is the owner of his future. It's Leo's decision. Whatever he decides, he is a fan of the club and deserves a statue, Barcelona sporting director Jordi Cruyff told. Eintracht Frankfurt have made midfielder Junior Dina Ebimba's loan from PSG permanent for 6.5 million euros. Juventus are leading the race for Lazio midfielder Sergei Milinkovic Savic, according to Il Messaggero. Aston Villa are closing in on Real Madrid's Marco Asensio on a free transfer, Marco notifies. Ashraf Hakimi has not felt supported by PSG in recent months and would like to leave the club. Diego Simeone could be key for Yannick Carrasco to change his mind and stay at Atletico. The coach wants to keep the player, Mundo Deportivo claims. Marcel Schmelzer returns to Borussia Dortmund. The 35-year-old will become assistant coach of the U-17 team, a year on from his retirement as a player. Inter Milan will travel to Japan in late July for their 2023-24 preseason tournament, the club's official website confirms. Liverpool have opened negotiations over the signing of Nice midfielder Kefren Turam. Galatasaray are ready to make a significant effort to keep Mari Cardi. The fee could be around 10 million euros. Initial discussions with PSG have already taken place, Lee Perusian writes. Real Madrid have Roberto Firmino and Joselu as options, but if Karim Benzema leaves, we have to expect something else, Fabrizio Romano says. Leon Goretzka has no intention of leaving Bayern, even if Declan Rice joins. The German wants to establish himself in midfield and play in his favorite number 8 position. Daichi Kamada will undergo his medical at AC Milan in the coming days, La Gazzetta dello Sport reports. The head coach of Manchester City, Pep Guardiola, has been named the 2022-23 Premier League manager of the season. Lucas Hernandez wants to join PSG and hopes the Parisians will get Bayern's approval, according to Foot Mercato. Napoli, Inter and Juventus are interested in the services of Marco Verratti, who could reportedly leave PSG in the summer transfer window. AS Monaco's Kevin Volland would like to return to the Bundesliga this summer, Sky Germany reports. Ferran Torres has no intention of leaving Barcelona this summer. He wants to show his worth in preseason. As usual, we are moving on to the main news of the release. This is no joke here. The future of Karim Benzema in Real Madrid is in limbo. The Frenchman is one step away from leaving the Marengis and moving to Saudi Arabia. As journalist Gianluca Di Marzio notes, an unnamed golf club has offered the Ballon d'Or winner a 100 million euros a year net. Benzema informed the president of Real Madrid, Florentino Perez, about the matter, 
and also promised to reveal his decision by the end of the week. The Saudi Arabia side expects Karim to announce his departure from the Whites on Thursday, after which the transfer will be officially sealed. However, it's more likely that the attacker will make a statement right on June 4th, after the last game of the season, when Real Madrid will be hosting Athletic Bilbao at the Santiago Bernabeu in La Liga match week 38. Benzema's current contract with Las Blancas is about to expire, and a new one was agreed verbally, but not in written manner leaving Madrid to dial their performer's next move and now appear to have felt the effect of such uncertainty. Neymar is planning to leave PSG and join Manchester United this summer. The Brazilian sees himself only at Old Trafford. Recently, the Red and Blues marksman received an offer from a Saudi Arabian club. Outside of Europe, Ney was promised to get paid 400 million euros a year, though he refused as he plans to try himself in the English Premier League as part of the Red Devils camp. At the same time, the departure will depend on whether Manchester United will be taken over by Qatari Sheikh Yassim bin Hamad Al Thani and his partners. PSG president Nasser Al Hilafi is actively promoting the idea of making ex player Tiago Mata the new head coach of the first team. However, the official's proposal does not receive unanimous support. Al Hilafi is confident of Mata knowing the club through and through certainly better than other candidates and he thinks he is the only one who can bring order to the dressing room, given the team stars constantly having problems with discipline on and off the pitch. However, PSG's sporting advisor Luis Campos and other board members are not happy with Mata, despite his good spell in charge of Bologna. Most of PSG's bosses believe that Thiago does not yet have a broad enough CV and experience to withstand the pressure of fans' expectations and meet the challenges the club is going to face next season, with Champions League wins in mind. As a reminder, the Parisians are actively looking for a replacement for Christophe Galtier and are currently in contact with the former coach of Barcelona and Spain, Luis Enrique. Lionel Messi has almost run out of patience. He is no longer ready to wait for Barcelona's decision regarding the possibility of resigning him. The Argentine intends to pen a contract with the new club before the start of the transfer window. It should be noted that according to the latest media reports, Messi was offered to join the Arabian Al Hilal on a salary of 1.2 billion euros for two seasons. These could set a breakthrough record for personal contract terms in the history of the number one game. Nevertheless, Lionel is waiting for info from Barcelona before saying yes to the leaders. Lionel's father and agent, Jorge Messi, called La Liga to find out details of Barca's economic viability plan for the 2023-24 campaign. He's concerned about their inactivity because this issue should have been resolved last week and thus things take a rather suspicious turn. La Liga is currently demanding more details about the plan from Barcelona and does not understand where the 40 million euros the club mentions in the document came from. Meanwhile, Blaugrana sent Messi an offer once again, but it's unofficial while the player is tired and annoyed by this sort of approach. The Catalans are almost begging their legend to be patient and wait until next Tuesday when the club can get the green light from La Liga. Xavi Hernandez and his staff still believe in Lionel's return, but the Barcelona board's opinion can be described as divided. Folks, we highly recommend that you check out and enjoy top content from our other projects. The video is in front of you. Just click on the link. Thank you for your attention. We will meet again soon in the next episodes.